Hey guys, today we'll be doing a video about FIFA 16 upgrades. Now, I did this video, um, I made this video about two weeks ago, so I didn't copy any YouTuber. I was the one who made this, I made this ages ago. Right, so the first player who deserves an upgrade is Higuain. I think he'll get a plus two upgrade. The reason is because obviously, as you can see, he scored 22 goals in 26 appearances. One of the key things about strikers is consistency, and it's because of Higuain's consistently in scoring, consistently scoring in games. That's why Napoli are challenging for the Serie A this year. Another player is Bamiang. Now I believe they'll get a plus two upgrade as well, especially that pace and shooting. <laughs> That'll be absolutely amazing. He scored 24 goals in 23 appearances. Now I. I some of these stats are about a week or two weeks old, so I'm sorry about that. But <clears throat> Aubameyang was literally just... A, he scored more goals than appearances. That That's worthy of an upgrade. Borussia Dortmund have been amazing this this season. They're cha they are actually giving Bayern Munich somewhat of a challenge. I, that's why I think Aubameyang deserves an upgrade. Now, Lewandowski, he's, he gets a, a plus one upgrade. Knowing EA, they wouldn't put him up to 90, but... 29 goals and 30 appearances, that's quality, quality striker. He's probably one of the best strikers in the world at the moment. This is why I think he deserves an upgrade. Another player, Javier Hernandez. As a United fan, I'm really annoyed that this guy was sold on, but I think he'll get a plus one upgrade. He scored 21 goals and 30 appearances. It may not be as many goals to get appearances as... Um, what you call it, as Lewandowski and Aubameyang, but he's he's been in hot property. He's really helping by Leverkusen push for that Champions League spot next season. He's just been insane. A8 pace, I think he, he deserves it. He's such a quick player. A1 shooting as well. If that that's what I think his card would look like. Another player is Leroy Sané. Now, statistically, <laughs> I mean, five goals and five assists isn't exactly amazing, but. For someone at his age, who's about 19 or 20, doing that for Schalke in the Champions League, in the in in the Bundesliga, you know, I've watched him play. Look at his average rating, 7.2, 7.22. That's been amazing. I think he deserves an upgrade. He is a future world-class player. I think there's no. I mean, a future world-class player wouldn't be linked to Manchester City at this age, would they? Exactly. Plus to upgrade. That's why. Kevin De Bruyne, you just can't leave this kid out. He deserves an upgrade, obviously. Plus two, because look at that. 14 goals, 9 assists, an average rating of also 7.2. Now, his passing definitely deserves an upgrade. I mean, 9 assists at Cam is yeah, for 27 games. But the goals he's been scoring, some of the skills, that's not Meg that he got, I think, in the Sunderland game at, at the empty had. It was it was insane. I think he deserves a plus two upgrade because Kevin De Bruyne is an absolute magician. Another player who obviously needs an upgrade is Odie Nagalo for Watford. Twenty three appearances, fifteen goals, three assists. Who cares about the assists? But it's mainly the goals. The goals he's been scoring for Watford have been insane. The amount of scoop turns I've seen him do, I'd say. I don't understand why he's three star skills. They've got to upgrade him to four star skills. He's been banging in goals. I think he deserves an upgrade as well. Another player, Hector Bellerin. He he le, he deserves a plus three upgrade. Twenty five appearances, two assists. I, he hasn't scored, but I remember watching him. He's just been absolutely amazing. Swansea game, Gomez running in, trying to shoot. He's one on one with Czech, goes around the keeper, and then Bellerin out of nowhere comes in, slide tackles all the way from before behind the halfway line. Gomez was already at the other end of the pitch he literally sprinted down the down the line just to go and intercept that is amazing football there's a reason why Debushi has been asking to leave because Bellerin said she took in his chance and kept Debushi out of the team to be honest I really don't understand why by Barcelona let go of this kid he's absolutely amazing 94 pace I think he's he he could be 97 pace because apparently he's faster than Walcott but I don't know. Another um, mention. Another reason why I added him is because of um, Bayern Munich. When Bayern Munich went to Emirates, I remember the assist that Özil got. I mean, it was a brilliant save from Neuer, but Özil's got it was a good goal for him. 
it was, a bit, it was clearly over the line. Anyway, Bellerin sprinted down that line, got that cross in, triple tapped the X, and gave it straight into. He's got a good rate, um, average rating as well per game, 7.19. Plus three upgrade, that's why. No, sorry about the <laughs> cropping. I found this one on the internet and I thought, uh, why not? Plus two upgrade for. Oh, wait, no. Plus four upgrade for Jamie Vardy. He's beaten Rude Van Nistelrooy's record in BPL 16 goals and 23 appearances, three assists, average rating 7.58. If if these if Leicester can keep on winning and getting loads of draws and le lots of wins and few draws, hardly any losses this season. If they can beat Arsenal and Manchester City, or at least draw at Man City or Arsenal, they could they can really challenge for Premier League, let alone Champions League spot. I think Leicester can win the title with just Vardy, Kante, and Mares. All they need to do is sign a solid centre half before the end of the transfer window. I think they already have. Average rating 7.58. He's been absolutely amazing to watch. Mesut Ozil, another player that I was, I'm as a United fan, I really want to include. I forgot to put in his average rating because I couldn't find it on the internet. But anyway, Ozil, his, his appearances, 31 appearances, his assists, 15. I think 16. Sorry, it's not 15. Anyway. The way the rate that he's going, he'll probably if he keeps on assisting, he will beat the um I think it's the all time record for the most BPL assists in one season. I mean he scored a few goals as well. I remember the one against United that he scored. I was so annoyed that we lost that game. He scored a really good um goal, I think, from the edge of the box. He just curled it round and put it in the corner. And then um he played it into Sanchez to score uh, a flick. This this guy he's really good. He deserves an upgrade. To be honest, he, he better have 90 passing because 15 assists. Come on, Deli Ali, the kid that I'm so hyped up about. He deserves a whopping plus six upgrade. Seven goals and five assists. Average rating of 7.18. The goals that he scores, the, the performances he puts in are absolutely phenomenal. As he, as someone who, I can't, I just, I just can't believe. That, this guy from MK Dons as well, which is not far. He's such a good player. Who knew MK Dons could breed such good talent and everything? Tottenham, knowing Tottenham, they'll probably make this guy a world class player. Hopefully, Real Madrid won't swipe it, swipe another one of their stars. He deserves a massive upgrade. He just deserves it. He's been phenomenal. Another player is Richard, I think that's how you say it, Mars. Plus, Four upgrade. Sorry about the cropping again. Found it on the internet. So <coughs> anyway, he deserves an upgrade because him and Vardy have literally carried Leicester to the top of the Premier League. Fourteen goals in twenty-two appearances, eight assists as well. An average rating of seven point nine eight. That's more than De Bruyne, Le I think Lewandowski, and Aubameyang. And the BPL. I no offense to all those who think Serie A Bundesliga is the most competitive league in the world at the moment. There's so many teams that could win this league this season. It's absolutely unreal. If United, if Chelsea, no, not Chelsea. If United step up the game, you know, actually start winning a lot more games, a lot more with confidence, more creativity in matches. You know, if Liverpool can start defending properly, you know, they they could they could challenge, and it would be Leicester, Chelsea, Man City, Arsenal, United, Liverpool, all challenging for one Premier League. But how Leicester went from relegation battle to title to contenders is because of this guy's performances in games. His elasticos, his goals, his trickery, his, his he's just an amazing player. I I hope him and Vardy can carry them to the league title. No. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like and subscribe. I hope you really enjoyed the video. Oh my gosh. I think my subscribe no. Don't worry. I thought my subscribers spelt wrong. I missed out an eye. Oh, never mind. Anyway guys.